Hey, Nashies, we are back. Hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Nashville. We are coming to you from the Nash Chat House, which is always fun. But tonight's super special because, well, we've got not just one person from Nashville, you know, like we always have, you know, an actor from the show come sitting on the couch, but we've got two. And I'll give you one hint managers. Maybe you can put two and two together, but we're super excited about that and to break down tonight's episode. So let's just go ahead and get started. I don't know if I said, but maybe you're new to this. Did I say I'm Amy Brown? And this is Nash Chat. <laughs> let's start now. Okay, well, here we are live from Nashville, Whoa. which, I mean, makes sense because we are breaking down the TV show Nashville. How poser would we be if we were breaking down Nashville from, like, I don't know, Chattanooga? Super nah. posy. No, nah, that wouldn't be good. Yeah. No. Or wouldn't be real. somewhere else. Somewhere else. Yeah. Um, so, like I mentioned, we've got not one but two cast members from Nashville with us tonight, so I'm super excited. We've got David Alford with us and Ed Amatrudo. See, you get, I, you, I say you that get right? two for the price of one tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, Just like a price of one. And we, right? we pay them in like snacks. Yeah. Hummus. <laughs> wine. Yeah. Wine, bell peppers. Pita chips. Pita, pita chips, chips. Popcorn. popcorn. That's what we watch while, or that's what we eat while we're watching Nashville. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did yeah. you like our little spread upstairs? It was delicious. It was fantastic. Are you impressed with the Nash Chat house? Super. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have the adorable and super talented Christina Taylor here with us tonight. Hey. And yeah. she has an EP out called That Girl, which yeah. just got like, what, 500,000 streams on Spotify? On Spotify. Wow. So. Round of applause for that, Thank yeah, you. and we're definitely going to hear her play some music for us at the end of Nash Chat, so make sure you Nashies, you stick around for that, and then her guitar player, we definitely recognize Will Rambo, yes, yes. like Rambo. Uh, no <laughs> relation. Do you, do you feel extra pressure to work out, or? That guy ruined my life. He did? Oh, so you were Rambo before Rambo was nice. Rambo? Yes. Okay, well, wow. there you go. Well, we have here. <laughs> and then we have our Nashy Hannah Tomlin on the couch with us as well. Thank you for being here, Hannah. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, Nashies, we love bringing you guys to the couch, but obviously all of you can't be here because you're at home and you're all across the world, actually. I mean, isn't that crazy that people watch? Not, I mean, y'all have fans all world. across the world. <laughs> and they're all on Facebook right now watching. So we love when you interact with us. Send us your comments on the feed and we read them, them and you never know your comment could end up on the show because later we'll do a little q a and yep. so if you've got questions for the managers i'm just going to start calling all that the, the managers, managers. The managers. <laughs> so we've got the managers on the couch if you've got questions for them or any comments about tonight's episode please hit us up in the comment section so everyone doing good tonight mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and what are our thoughts on tonight's episode Anything you want to talk about? I mean, obviously, we're going to break down the big stuff, but is there something anybody's, like, itching to talk about? Oh, poor Gunner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll touch on that. Yeah. 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 Sort of towards, sense. we'll get to Gunner towards the end, but yeah. anything else? Uh, Gunner, he, he's, he's got the hottest girl in town on oh, the yeah. line. Mm -hmm. He lets her off the hook. I don't get it. Yeah. yeah. But. I think that we should just go ahead and kick off tonight with um, Maddie and Juliet. Okay. All Since right. we do have the managers here and y'all are joining us, the and we, we like, yeah, yeah I, I get that. But we also want to know how how would Bucky handle it, and mm -hmm. and would Bucky do the same thing as Glenn? Like, what what are, what are your thoughts on this situation? Let's go ahead and get your take on what you would have done if you were managing Juliet. That's really interesting. I have no idea, but I, you know, in fact, during doing the show, we've only had a couple of scenes together when I've worked with. Hayden, it's always been really fun because yeah. we sort of established the idea that Bucky really doesn't take her her attitude. He just sort of draws the line yeah. at a sort of a significant way. So I have no idea what that relationship would be because it'd have to be different if you had to deal with her on a day-to-day -day basis. basis. Yeah, yeah. yeah what's it like? It's excruciating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes are you just like, I mean, obviously when you're in character, but even sometimes as your character, you're like rolling your eyes like, oh my gosh. But here's the thing. 
<laughs> Glenn loves Juliet so much right. that she can still do no wrong. He kind of goes like this a lot. Yeah, I mean, she straight up stole the song yeah. from Maddie. She stole it. But he, but he's just like, okay, he, he, he knows that that's kind of what she does, and he'll figure it out. He supports her every time. Yeah, yeah. he does. Yeah, um, and obviously you're trying to find a way to solve the problem before it blows before up. Before it gets out of control. Before it blows yeah. up in the media yeah. and uh -huh. gets out of control. But of course, Juliet wants to handle it her own way, so <laughs> let's take a look at that clip whole media narrative about you and Maddie being in the middle of some sort of cat fight isn't going away. And the nomination's only adding fuel to the fire. Cream? Please. In the interest of putting this thing to bed before people start, you know, picking sides and making t-shirts, I'd be happy to help facilitate a conversation between the two of you. Maybe we can bring in Deacon to act as kind of a third- No, I do not need help talking to Maddie. I've known the girl since she was a tater tot. Yeah, I- well, look, sometimes- with a miscommunication as delicate as this. Glenn, I stole her song. You know it, I know it. Let's just call a spade a spade. Wait a minute. Maddie already had a hit song about a tidal wave. For all we know, she'd have passed on a song about waters rising. I mean, how much water can a person sing about? Yeah. I just made nice on Twitter. That's a really good question. How much water can a person sing about? In this case, a lot. <laughs> I mean, let me just say one thing. I was really good in that scene. Did you notice? <laughs> yeah, you did an excellent job. Thank really you. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. I don't know about you, but I didn't even notice Juliet in that scene because you did so, I mean, your I mean, performance. I, I like, agree. Oh, it, yeah. it was like I never notice anyone else. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. <laughs> Um Hannah, what do you think about Juliet? Do you think that she's genuinely sorry that she did it? I don't know. Is she ever genuinely sorry about the anything yeah. that she says? I don't know. Is she? I mean, you know her best. Yeah, she 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 shoots first and asks questions later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of what she does. So she does um, and we're we'll see eventually how sorry she is. But yeah, she does things out, out of she just reacts and then Glenn has to run around and pick up the pieces a lot of times. So. She asks for forgiveness sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes, not, right. not permission. Yeah, there you, go, there you go. She yeah. makes yeah. her own yeah. rules. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do you feel at times your character is a little naive? I, no. I do. Yeah, yeah. No. Buffy does. And this is not offense to you as, a, no. as your everyday human self. No, I, I but think. But you as your character. I, no, I don't. I don't think. You know, Glenn has been doing this for a long time. I don't think he's that naivete in, enters into it at all. I think. He kind of, can kind of anticipate most of the stuff that Juliet does. And when she throws him a curveball, he's been at this for so long that he knows how to handle it. Mm -hmm. um, do we see any um, signs of Bucky returning to manage this situation? Could y'all co? Like, could, you, <laughs> would you, could we see you calling him for advice? Like, oh my oh. gosh, what do I do? It's like co-parenting. Yeah. <laughs> listen, I love the idea. I, I love the idea. <laughs> I'm just wondering, is there going to be the next duet on the show? Yeah. No question. Goodman and Dawes, baby. No question. Oh, the, manager, the managers, Bring right? It. Yeah. Like the bosses, the managers. The, managers. The, okay. The, the spin off. Maybe. It's a spin -off. All right, I'm calling it. I'm Thank putting you. bets down. Yeah, Start please. your own management company. All together. our concerts See? happen in separate showers. Like, <laughs> instead of Highway 65, y'all are like 440. What's the other? <laughs> what's another like highway or loop here in town? Yeah, 840, 440. 840, yeah. Yeah, all those. I still, yeah. I've lived we, in Nashville for like, years now. We more like Dickerson Pike. Yeah. I still have to like <laughs> GPS. Oh, Dickerson <laughs> Road. Dickerson Road. Oh, no. that, would that be the name of y'all's company? Dickerson yeah, Road? definitely. <laughs> so if you haven't been to Nashville, you should check out Dickerson no, you, you Road. You wouldn't get it. What, if, if, say, Nashie's come to town a lot to visit Nashville because of the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. In you know, well you're from here yes. and you guys are, live here I'm and wh yeah, where's one here. place you would tell Nashies they have to go if they come to Nashville to visit? Well, I mean, I always, you know, downtown Broad. I mean, it's so mm -hmm. nice you now. See Broadway. It was, it, it wasn't because I'm from here, and like 30 years ago, it wasn't so nice. But Broadway done an amazing is the honky tonk. Strip. Yeah, no, it's incredible yeah, and. It's awesome. Yeah, there's all kinds of great stuff. And, of course, the Hall of Fame's fantastic. Mm -hmm. If you, if you love the show, then you are, should be a fan of mm -hmm. country music. And that, and that museum is fantastic. Totally. I would say the Bluebird as well. I played a show yeah. with the Bluebird, and people were, like, coming in. It just look, looks just like the show Nashville. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you do yeah. have to prepare for that one. There will be a long yeah. line. And what oh, about you, sure. Hannah? Um, I would definitely, well, 
Are you saying to see? No, or, or eat, just, or whatever. Okay. I mean, we're all about food here. Well, I definitely think there's a great selection of restaurants, but the coffee shops do. I know that probably sounds a little bit lame, but we have some pretty good coffee shops. Which, the one where I've seen, like, a lot of um, Nashville characters hanging out is The Post, which is in East Nashville, which y'all do a lot of taping in East Nashville. Yeah. Well, you guys may not, but... Not so much. But, like, Gunner and Scarlett, right. they do, so... Anyway. The, old, the old guys aren't the old, We don't go to East The old guys, y'all don't hit it out. That's where, like, the hit people so are. Nice <laughs> so, Nashies, we want to hear from you about tonight's episode, so make sure you're sending us your um, Q&As and all your comments, everything starting to come in. Like, for example... Emily says, shout out, we need more Bucky on the show. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Don't worry, they love you too. I know you. <laughs> Don't get your feelings hurt. Um, she probably doesn't know which one's Bucky and, then, and which one's Glenn. Uh, hey, I, I'm just saying. Hey, well, no, Cambria that. says, I had to do a double tape. They could be brothers, both amazing oh actors. Oh, oh that's really nice. Look, y'all are like the. That's super nice. In fact, a lot of people st still get us confused. They do? All, yeah, Even all the on set. All the, on, on uh, set. People that work with you. Dude's oh, yes. walking around with a blonde wig, wig on, yeah. and they still call me Ed. Yeah. <laughs> really? I'm not yeah. kidding. But we don't even, we just are like, we, I just, say, yes. we answer yeah. to either name. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're trying to, we've tried to That's fight awesome. it, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't That's interesting. It doesn't work. Okay, let's move on to <laughs> Deacon and Jesse. How do we feel about this and what's happening? I mean, does she want to do music or does she not want to do music? I don't get it. Like, she's, like, in there and singing, and then she's like, eh. And I think you she have... wants to do Deacon. It's too late. You said it. Yeah, I mean, we're live. Feelings happening there. Yeah, There's you're right. a lot yeah, you're of you're feelings you're being you're had right. in, in a lot of different directions. I think they, they can't make any decisions. No. Right. But as an artist, like, say you're recording something, and you've got Deacon Claiborne, like, right here to help you, yeah. and you're kind of like, not really taking advantage of that. Yeah, mm. no. As an artist, I would take all the help I could get, especially mm. right. if it was from someone like him. So, yeah. doesn't really make any sense. A little more gratitude. Than yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> yeah, is she not? Yeah, she's lacking some gratitude for sure. And then. Well, they both just have so much baggage right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just, I think part like of it is insecurity. A lot of feels going yeah. on there between the two of them, and they're, they're trying to figure out where they're all fitting in mm -hmm. together. Yeah, and we were finally introduced to her. Ex yeah. This the time, worst and, like you kind of realize, okay, maybe yeah. now we know why she has some issues. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel like she needs to be in the self defense classes after seeing oh, yeah. Yeah, just a yeah, little yeah. bit more of her ex husband interaction. Yeah, I felt unsafe watching him. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we were talking about them in the studio and maybe her how she was acting with Deacon, let's go ahead and take a look at that clip. Just a quick minute. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a long day, and I just feel like I'm not going to get it right now. We got it all the time you need, Jess, and I mean, seriously, right now it feels like the only thing in your way is yourself. So that's what you think? It's not an insult. I'm just saying it can be scary when all the obstacles to being here are cleared away, and you're just standing there in front of that microphone by yourself. I know I've been there. Or we can come back tomorrow if you'd like. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's do that. Uh huh. Thanks. So, Hannah, what are your thoughts? Do you think that Jesse Kane is going to make it as an artist in Nashville? Coming back, obviously. I think she could if she would just move past her own internal battles that mm -hmm. are going on. I think she definitely could. She's got a stage presence. She's got the look. She's obviously got the songwriting skills. Maybe if she got the right managers. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I can't believe, I mean, I feel like we're onto something. Like, y'all are starting your own company. It's going to be great. Yeah. Good what, and dogs, baby. What are your oh, thoughts? I love it. Good what are your thoughts? Good and dogs. Bring it. Sounds As good. the managers, what would, how would you handle, let's say, boom, she's your client. Well, the first thing you got to do is make her do some gigs. She needs to play. She didn't have to play the Bluebird yet because there's a lot of intensity that comes with that. But she mm. needs to get out and play some gigs. Yeah, like the Nashville places. Airport? Yeah, yeah. wherever. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. She'd be more right? welcome. She needs to get in front of some people. Yeah, yeah. she needs to get in front of some people like, and start to find That's what I'm saying. Rules. There's always people at the airport. Yeah, oh, a lot of people. Yeah. And there's a Tootsies there. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, yeah. If any of you Nash... If any of you Nashies come to Nashville, you will see the songwriters and musicians no, playing in the airport. They're legit they're very there. Good. And and honestly, that's sometimes where 
people start out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's not that's a, right. like a dig I mean, it all. There are thousands of people walking by them every single day. Right. And some it. of those thousands of people are legit, like, uh-huh. superstars, like Keith Urban, Luke mm-hmm. Bryan, right. like all these. And they are, I always, we often wonder sometimes, like, what it would be like to be Keith Urban, because you do see him at the airport. These guys, they fly like Southwest. It's crazy. You're like, what? Keith Urban's in the A boarding group? Like, yeah. what? <laughs> but they keep it real. That's what I love about Nashville. And could you imagine being him and like you're walking by Tootsie's and some like guys on a bar stool like playing, playing your a song? Keith Urban and you're song. like, yeah. oh, good day, mate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing my music. But um, Nashville's cool. So, I mean, Nashies, don't worry. Well, I feel like sometimes to the Nashies, we're, like, doing one big, like, endorsement for Nashville, the city, because it is so cool, which we're not. This is not an ad. We just really no. like it. We just yeah. love our well, city. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool place. BNA, Nashville Airport. And it is lo- No, and it is loaded with incredibly talented people. Mm-hmm. It yeah. is, including possibly Jesse Kane. Yeah. Yes. We don't really know yeah. what's going to happen to her. Um, what's your, let's say, do you think that Highway 65 should sign her? Well, I'm not involved with that company. I know you're not. <laughs> he was ousted. Tell us, tell us your real ousted. thoughts on that. How do you feel ousted. about that? I was ousted. Well, Bucky was very hurt. Are you kidding? Yeah. Did Bucky, Bucky, did yeah. Bucky cry? Um, yes, Bucky. Well, I mean, I don't know if he cried because he's out of a job. I don't think that's, that's what upset him. But he and Rain, he feels like he and Raina built that company from the ground well, up. Well, yeah, y'all did. So, and there was always a struggle. But, you know, anytime you start a company, there's struggles. Like every week, month, there's some new crisis. So I'm sure, you know, Bucky felt incredible invested in that so to have that sort of the rug pulled out from under him that was very painful for him sure. for sure yeah. well we all cried with you especially by a <laughs> punk like Zach <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that yeah. yeah no we've had Zach here and we um yeah did you we, did you dress him down yeah well we had him issues with him to? on lots of things so yeah I mean we gave him a talking to <laughs> so we'll see what happens I don't know He's, there's a certain entitlement that comes with rich young yeah. years you yeah. know right. so I don't really know how to handle sit it well with old timers like <laughs> no Do you, since hey, we're wait, what? like us Oh, okay. Yeah. What did you say? You I missed it. <laughs> that, that doesn't. We call me an old timer, timer, which is like fine. Us. I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Well, it's okay. You're just when you're older, you're wiser. Exactly. Okay. Boom. If only Boom. that were true. <laughs> is it not true? <laughs> That's what I've always been told. No, no, no. <laughs> it's only intermittently. You just yeah. make the same mistakes <laughs> <laughs> over and over. I thought you learned from your mistakes. You make the same mistakes louder. Bucky, like you're ruining everything. We have a lot of young Nashies, and now they're like, if I the mistakes, we less cares. So, uh, <laughs> we could get into a whole philosophical conversation yeah. about how people actually never completely change, but let's not. <laughs> okay, I think that people can change. They can change a little. Oh. <laughs> Bucky, you have no hope in people. No hope. Okay, let's go ahead and hit um, our questions from the fans, the Nashies. Um, oh, I love it. We have a name for y'all. Oh. Angie says, Team Glucky. Team oh, Glucky. Glenn and Bucky. Glucky. I like it. That is good. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag Glucky. Glucky. Uh-huh. Glucky. Oh, yeah. Glucky. Glucky. I feel like you won't we're... forget that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Glucky. This Glucky. is just getting better and better. It's evolving. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I see it. Yeah. Hey, Zellman. Glucky. 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 Oh, Terry Glucky. says, Bucky, we want Zach to leave and for you to take the reins at Highway 65. Just okay. saying. Okay. I would agree with that statement. Bucky agrees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So does Glenn. Next week on Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mackenzie says, Glenn is like Juliet's father. I love the father-daughter relationship between them. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I do, too. Yeah, yeah that's special. Mm-hmm. Uh, how's y'all's relationship off camera? I love this kid. I kill our kid, but I, I absolutely love Hayden. She's, mm-hmm. you, she's nothing like you see her on TV, on the show. She's charming and brilliant and, and an unbelievable <laughs> actor and just a, a thrill to work with and funny as all get out. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah of course. She's I mean, so, and you know, the thing is, he calls her a kid, she's young, but she's been doing this since she was, I think, four? Four years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So wow. she has... Tell, tell, tell what, you, what you always say about Hayden, about how she knows that... She's just, uh, she's one of the most technically proficient actors I've ever seen. And, you know, so when what you I mean say that, that technically is, proficient... Well, like, what, what I mean don't... is she knows exactly what camera's working and she knows exactly how much of her face to give the camera. I mean, she's just grown up in, on sets and she's really just a... So, so, I mean, and obviously there's a lot of heart and soul, and, you know, she's just an incredible performer. She yeah. really is. Mm-hmm. And 
Nashies are lucky to have her, I mm. think. And I always feel lucky when I get to work with her, and you get to work with her all the time. I'm thrilled. Yeah. Is it yeah. awesome when you get to work with younger actors and you are, you, you, you're learning from them? Sure. They're all younger. But y'all are like, y'all aren't that old. <laughs> oh, but older. We're older than everybody Oldish. on the show. What do yeah. y'all do to take care of yourselves? Because you're, you know. What do I do to yeah, take care of myself? Yeah, what do you do? You work out? a day, keeps the doctor away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You work out, what's your workout? I run. You run? Yeah. How much? How far? I run about three miles a day. That's, oh, wow. that's impressive. That's awesome. That is impressive. I can't, yes, I haven't yeah. ran three miles in a really, really, really long time. <laughs> I don't want to run unless somebody's chasing me, for sure. <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. um, what about you? What's your go-to? I'm picturing, like, Bikram yoga. Am I wrong? No. Uh, no. I you that. don't do that? No. Are you a cyclist? No, I, I go to the, you know. I, he is a cyclist, but it's not a bicycle. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a different kind Cy of cycle. He cycles constantly. No, I, I, uh, I've, for the last few months, I've been on a very low carb uh, diet. Okay. Which has been amazing. I've so lost. you've trimmed up a little bit. Yeah, 18 oh, like pounds. A lot, yeah. Oh, wow. I know, when you walked in, I almost was like, I had to do a double take. I, and I was like, well, the camera adds 10 pounds. Yeah. But no, no, no. The camera was adding 30 before. Okay. But, um. I actually noticed the difference tonight when I saw the show. As, as, as the show progresses, I've lost more and more weight, and every, every week I get a little bit <laughs> Yeah. But I, and and uh, I, I hit the gym two to three times a week, as best okay. I can, yeah. Well, there you have it. Yeah. Glucky. <laughs> How they stay fit, yeah. young and young. fit. Low carb, run. Um, okay, so Scarlett yeah. and Gunner, we got to talk about them. Um, now, do you happen to be in any sort of like Nashville budding romance as an artist? Are you, have you ever dated another artist? I have not dated another artist. Okay. I hear that's like really hard to date another musician or artist. It's like not the way to go. Well, not only are Scarlett and Gunner both artists, but they're in a group together. together. Mm -hmm. So where do y'all think the exes are going to go from here? I mean, they just made things really complicated for mm -hmm. themselves. In all ways. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's like no personal space. Nope. At all. Mm -hmm. You're doing everything And then when together. you start dating other people, having to mm -hmm. be around each other, that's just... You still have to do your work no. together and write your songs together. <laughs> sure. And you know, you're trying to date someone else, it's hard, but are you together, then it's too much together. And then you're like trying to sing to each other right. certain and songs, be and you have to like yeah. look them in the eye, yeah. and then <laughs> maybe like... It really is that classic yeah. can't live with them, can't live without, live without them. Live without them, exactly. Absolutely. Right. You know, right. I think that's what we started to see tonight, too. I mean, in Scarlett, obviously, tonight, since we're talking about her, she started her self-defense classes, mm -hmm. and then she, like, was okay with Gunner going away, and then she was like, yo, I miss you, and then Gunner's, like, back in his hometown, and he's hanging out with this one girl, and then she's like, oh, hey, let's hang out, and then she's like, oh, I'm married. I'm like, what? Yeah, Just kidding. Right. 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 She's like... <laughs> It's a long story, you know. Yeah. She's like, mm. she's like, but I always. But loved I you think Gunnar should feel good about that. Why? About which? About that, because he thought he doesn't think much of himself. And he's in that small town, yeah. and, and yet he is like some woman's idea of a great romantic mm -hmm. flame. He's still got the juice. We should do yeah. something for his yeah. self-esteem, I would think. Okay, so you think he's going to roll back into Nashville like no, all? No, probably not, but he should, probably should. He probably should. It should yeah. make him feel a little better. Yeah. Um, Shirley says that Gunner is acting like a dog in heat. <laughs> what? That's a little aggressive. Not me. But... I didn't say it. Shirley did. It's Talk to Shirley. It's the only girl he's ever spoken to in months. And he's the one who's, who stopped the whole process that went in, during the makeout and all that, too. So yeah. I wouldn't yeah. blame well, it all on him. That, well, but, but, no, he's, he's had dalliance as other dalliances. Yes. But that was, that was a while ago. It yeah. was? Yeah. Keep up. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. And I just want to say I miss Chloe. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He's just saying. So since we brought up um, Gunnar and Scarlett, obviously we want to take a look at them in action from this episode. Where are you? Uh, in Aurora, actually. Oh, wow. I thought you would have gotten out of there by now. Yeah. Me too. But, uh, anyway. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just, you know, I thought we were trying to give each other some space. Gotcha. Um, well, I'll talk to you later, or not. Hey, wow. No, I'm not saying never. It's just this is a little confusing for me. Okay, well, I, I will try not to be confusing moving forward. Scarlett. I'll see you.
Okay, going to go to my managers. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I want to know, um, pretty much, would you be like, okay, look, we're just going to stay together, and I need y'all to just for the sake of, like, your fans and selling tickets and music and whatnot, let's just, like, keep the peace, be together. But you're going to be called the exes, but you're really together because people love you together. Or are you just like, let's just break up, like, move on, go do your solo careers? Mm. It's tough. It, and because, I mean, and the show deals with this a lot, mm-hmm. but artists really can be... I, I am not one that thinks that you have to treat all artists with kid gloves. I don't think that necessarily is the case. But you do have to give them some room sometimes for them to be able to do what they do. And it's clear that they do what they do really well together. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they're making each other miserable. So it is, mm-hmm. it's an incredibly difficult and Balance, dicey yeah. situation. It's toxic. Because the, like, the non-manager in me would just say, you either need to poop or get off the pot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Either do it or it's don't. It's a really wise just thing. just move yeah. on. <laughs> move on or don't or stay together. Um, but Figure if I was, you know, dealing with artists, I don't know. It's really tough. It's tough. And they, all, but that, they all know each other's backstories, and they've been together, and it's just very kind of incestuous and It's a lot of strange. skin in the game. Yeah, so to speak, yeah. <laughs> mm. A lot of skin. A yeah. lot of skin. Yeah, a lot of skin. <laughs> <laughs> like, lots. Lots. Um, well, <laughs> Mark and Shay say that Scarlett and Gunner will get married eventually. They belong together. Oh. Believers. So, are we thinking marriage Maybe he or like... didn't notice Scarlett with that big knife and the way she was carrying that around. <laughs> Gunner might want to think about that. It's true. What? What do you think she's gonna like? I. Don't... I mean. I don't know. I was gonna reference like I don't like know what you're, where you're where you're going <laughs> with that. Ew, I don't think there's she's there's gonna a, take it out on him. Why is Gunner doesn't dress up like a raccoon? You should sleep with one eye open, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> like Lorena Bobbitt. No. 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 no! I don't know what you're went, saying. No, they're right, right to the okay. Bob it. Move on. Yeah. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to Ed's wig. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> because a lot of fans are asking if that was a character, like your choice character. Whose idea was to come in with the wig? Here's the here was the thing. You got this, and they uh, the story was that when we first got hired, they said we were doing the pilot. We, yeah. We, we got these two guys, they're both managers. They look almost exactly the same height, they're around the same age, they look almost exactly alike. This is never gonna work. So he was happened to be Your good. idea? No, he he was good friends with the with the hair with Garnet, who, Garnet. Was, who was doing hair and makeup was, at the time yeah, on the show. And he was head of the department. And he came up to me and he said, they're saying one of you yeah. is going to have to wear and Gar- a and, 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 and Garnet was like, mm, you, which was me, so, because he knew him. Right. So I got the nod for the wig. I, I kind of oh, I I, I threw Ed under yeah. the bus a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you were going to do you a favor. I didn't. Well, you should have flipped a coin or something. No, we did, I didn't get that opportunity. <laughs> I mean, because let's be honest, like the hair is a little like... Oh. Well, it's okay. I have, I, have, I have good hair days and I have bad hair days. <laughs> no, it's almost like your character. It's not you, your character. But there comes a time where people just need to like let it go. I'm with you. I'm not. A, listen, I, I listen. I, I lobbied hard for that very thing. Okay. Yeah. And in fact, he did appear. Bucky, you went home that night. Or, no, like, Bucky, just your character. Bucky. You went yeah, home that Bucky. night and you were like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. I, I didn't wait. About, I didn't even go home. I did it right then. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. That's interesting. Like, no. I did not know how that he came said, about. He said to me, no. "He said, Ed, you're going to be loving that wig in August." Well, <laughs> Ed, just since um, <laughs> that is so mean. We don't really love each other. Yeah, y'all do. Yeah, this is before we were friends, so um, I had to apologize. Well, for since we've sort of been picking on you with the hair and the wig, I will let you know that a lot of fans are saying that Ed looks. And I'm quoting here, sexy ball. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's right here. Thank you all. Right here on Facebook. Thanks, it's coming David. in live. Don't look at, like, don't look at me. Like we can't even keep up <laughs> with the comments. Thanks, mom. <laughs> oh, your mom would write that you look sexy ball. <laughs> she's just trying to. She's just trying to pump me up. You know. You're the dude that said about incest a while ago. You said something about incestuous. <laughs> 
That was different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's another show. Yeah, yeah. That's the after, the after, the after, after, the after, after yeah. show, late really? night. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, Nashies, I hope you enjoyed having Galucky here tonight, which y'all are the ones that named them that. Mm-hmm. Are y'all are y'all feeling that at all? Yeah, okay. Glucky. Yeah. Glucky. As long as it's like Glucky Enterprises. Sure. It's not just got Glucky, Glucky Bros. You can thank the Nashies for that. Um, Hannah, obviously. And you can order the T-shirts next you. week. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, they're making shirts now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you're you're selling. I mean, Bucky might need the work. So. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> <Not> selling shirts. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> we might need to buy shirts. Um, maybe we could get you. Is there any insight on what's happening with you, or are you just here hanging out with us? Do we know what's anything? Is there well, anything? I'm managing Maddie. Yeah. Yeah. And not I've, you. Yeah, you. You're me? managing Maddie. Yeah. 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 Okay. But where are we gonna see you? Like. You more? will see me soon. We're gonna see him soon. You can't give it away. Yes. Okay. Secret. All right. I try to get the secrets. Mm. Um, okay. Well, and then Christina <laughs> Taylor is here with us, and she's gonna play um, some music for us in just a minute. But before we do that, you want to tell people where they can find you on yeah. social medias and like kind of what you got going on? Yeah, of course. If you look up Christina Taylor Music, pretty much on any social media platform, you will find me. And my music is playing on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music. And I actually have a music video out to my song, Don't Look In Your T-Shirt Anymore, on CMT. Uh, yeah, there's a Discovery Artist. They're playing it on CMT.com. Yes, and, that's awesome. Yeah, and the CMT Music Channel. So make sure to check that out. I love it. Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you. I feel like we have a rising star amongst <laughs> us. So, again, she's going to play for us in just one second, but not before we do, like, kind of a group, like, can we do, like, Team Glucky? Yeah, I'm yeah. down with that. Like, like everybody everybody's in. Everybody's got to get in. Everybody. Oh. Go. Oh. Okay, Nashies, um, we only have two episodes left. Can you guys believe it? I mean, we are getting down to the wire. Down. This season is coming to an end, which is always sad, but that just yes. means there's another one on the horizon and more drama headed our way. And obviously, <laughs> we will be back here in the Nash Chat House, right here on the couches next Thursday night. And we definitely look forward to seeing you guys then. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for watching. And thanks, everyone, for being here. It's pretty awesome. Thank now you. I'm going to let Christina here take it away um, with some music. And uh, Will Rambo, yeah, get us started. Go. You say you didn't, but I know you did. You say she isn't, but I know she is. Just your friend, no matter how much you pretend. 